Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 5th grade concept of balancing a budget. This is part of personal financial literacy and is standard 5.10F in the great state of Texas. We are using item number 6 off the 2018 release star test and if you have not done so already please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have Wanda's net income, that's going to be important, for the month of April was $2,438. And the table shows her April budget except for an other category. So what we have here is let's take a look at this simple little diagram here. We want a balanced budget, so let's let's bring a balance. Remember these balances that we would play with in science class, right? They'd have little cups or little buckets on each end, and you would put various things on both sides to try to make it balanced. Well, that's an easy way to keep track of our money. And so we have our income over here. This is going to be money in. And it says for her, she's got 2,438. And this is her net income. Now that's gonna be important. Let's look at the difference real quick because a net income is money you actually get after taxes, after payroll deductions. This is actual money. Actual money that she walks away with. The different type of income is a gross income, and that's the money that you theoretically get if you just multiply how many how many hours you work times, uh, you know, your salary per hour. But this is before you take all of your taxes, and so she probably um, had a you know a gross income of maybe oh let's call it maybe 2600 or 2700 let's call it 2700 but there's there's all kinds of uh, taxes and payroll deductions so if she earns 2700 bucks a month she's really not going to come away with 2700 bucks you've got to pay a little bit to various things so she has an actual income that she can walk away with of this 2438 so that's good to know on the other end are the expenses and that is what that looks like right there. So it looks like we've got rent, so paying $1,000 in rent, utilities like water, electric, internet, that's 285, food, that's not very much, 325, must be eating pretty good, transportation, so um, maybe this is car, maybe this person doesn't own a car and is paying uh, for public transportation or for, you know, Ubers, and then we've got savings, which that's a good amount of savings right there. And then we've got this question mark. And that's the mystery right there. So what amount should be in the other category? That's what we're looking for right here in order for her budget to be balanced. So let's add up all that we have outside of that other category. So we've got 1,000. We've got 285. You've got 325. This is a big addition problem, but we should be able to handle it. 275. And then 450. And let's just add this up and see what we have so far. So that's going to be 15. Let's see. That's 10. That's 11. That's 18. 23. And let's see. 2, 4, 7, 9, 13. Alright, so she's already has allocated in her budget 2,335 dollars. But what we need is we need it balanced. Right now it's a little bit imbalanced towards this income. And so what we can do is, well, how much is missing? Let's just subtract the two. Let's subtract 2438 and 23.35 and we will get our answer of 103 dollars and make sure we bubble that in correctly that's our answer